So you're planning a trip to Peru, and I'm sure most of you are eventually trying to head up to Cusco to see the incredible Machu Picchu. And rightfully so, Machu Picchu is absolutely incredible. But while you're here in the country of Peru, I suggest that you go see some of the lesser known cities within the country because it will absolutely blow your mind. So now I'm sure you're wondering, but Kayla, how do I get around from city to city that is safe and efficient? Well, I got the right thing for you and it's called Peru Hop. Peru Hop is a company within Peru that allows for safe and efficient travel throughout the country and you can choose to start in Lima or Cusco and they make it super easy for you. In fact, they have it narrowed down to five easy steps and I'm gonna go along with them so that way I can show exactly how to choose the right tour for you. Step number one, and this one's easy, and it is choosing the right pass for you. Now, the easiest way to do this is either one, get on peruhop.com and look at all the different um, tours that they offer, or you can hop into one of the Peru Hop offices within Lima and Cusco. So before we went down to Peru, we kinda already knew what we wanted to do. We already looked on peruhop.com, but we actually went into one of the Peru Hop offices to see exactly which one would be right for us. And we decided to choose from Lima to Cusco without the lake, which was actually the perfect one for us. We spent $179 and it made stops in Paracas, Huacachina, Nazca, Arequipa, and then finally up to Cusco. All right, you guys, now on to step number two. And this one's kind of easy too, and it's all about choosing the right itinerary for you. Now, for us, we were kind of on a, we were on a schedule. We made plans up in Cusco to do the Salkantai Trek, so we knew that we had to be in Cusco by November 3rd, which then gave us a couple days to play around with, but we kind of stayed where we wanted to stay according to what interests us the most. But the best part about Peru Hop is that you have a full year to use your ticket. So whether you wanna spend one day, two days, a full week, a month in a city, whatever you wanna do, it's up to you. And the best part is, is when you get on the Peru Hop website, they give you your own account where you can make adjustments according to how you wanna stay. So say you fell in love with Arequipa, you plan to leave in two days, but you loved it so much that you wanna stay a week. And the best part is, is you can do that. So I think that's one of the really great perks of Peru Hop is that you can pretty much plan your vacation as you go. All right, now for step number three. This one's kinda easy too, because Peru Hop, whether you start in Lima or you start in Cusco, they pick you up straight from your hotel or your hostel. I mean, how much easier can that be, right? I mean, they make it so effortless and efficient that you don't even need a plan to get to the bus station. They pick you up for you. Super cool. Yeah. Step number four, this one's an easy one too. Guess what? You just hop on and off. So every day in the itinerary, you're gonna stop at a new place. So we started in Lima. Our first stop was in Paracas. So they picked us up from our Lima hotel and dropped us off in Paracas. And let me tell you something, it's all we had to do. They picked us up, dropped us off, and then we got on the um, Peru Hop website and determined how long we wanted to stay. Can't get any easier than that, can you? <laughs> and step number five, this one's easy too. Wherever you end, whether you end in Lima, Cusco, or you decide to carry on to the Bolivia hop and go to La Paz, wherever your end, your end part of the trip is, you go to the main office and you get to pick up a really cool Peru hop t-shirt. So it was actually a really cool thing to have as a souvenir. All right, so now you are on the bus, but that's as far as you've planned. I get it. You know, some people are kind of like fly off the seat of their pants, they just go with the flow. And if you're someone like me who is an avid planner, I like to make sure I know where I'm gonna stay, what I'm gonna do, I like to research a place, but this trip was completely opposite of that. In fact, we booked the Peru Hop and just decided to go with the flow. Totally unlike me. And to be honest, I was putting everything in Peru Hop's hands. So if something didn't work out, 
we were SOL. But the great part about Pruhop is as soon as you get on the bus, you get one of these. And this right here is a book that explains every single step and everything that's included within the Pruhop. One of the best things about this book right here, this Pruhop Bible, is the fact that it gives you so many different options on where to stay within your journey up to Cusco. And Another great thing is, is Pruhop works with several different hotels and hostels, which gives you discounted prices. And who doesn't like a cheap place to stay, right? And also, Pruhop also works with a lot of different restaurants throughout the cities to give you a discounted price when you show your Pruhop bracelet. So that's pretty cool too. Also, one of the really cool things about Pruhop is that there's free, and I mean free, who doesn't like free, right? Free stops along the way. One of them on our way to Paracas was the Chincha Slave Tunnels. Now, these slave tunnels are a very important part of the Peruvian history, and we learned a lot about how the Spaniards, when they invaded Peru, how they took a lot of different land, and the Chincha Slave Tunnels is one of those Spanish lands that they used as a cotton farm. And while we were there, we explored the grounds as well as the slave tunnels, which was actually very, very interesting. The second free stops along the way is the Paracas National Reserve. Now, when you're in Paracas, this is one of the main things that you need to do is see the National Reserve. And let me tell you something, it was absolutely beautiful. There was two different steps within the reserve. We saw um, some beautiful waters. We saw yellow sand. We saw the red sand beach. And it was just a really great free added stop. Now, one of the other cool things about Peru Hop is that they offer discounted tours, and I mean discounted tours, while you are on Peru Hop in each city. One of those discounted tours is Isla Ballestas, which is known as the Poor Man Galapagos. And as some of you know, I went to the Galapagos back in January, and it was a dream bucket list. But you know what? It came at a price. And I am so happy I went because it was something that I've always wanted to do, but I'm fully aware that not everybody can afford it. So I was kind of interested to see how well this really looks like the Galapagos Islands. And let me tell you something, they're right. It is a poor man's Galapagos. It is filled with animals. We saw penguins, a bunch of sea lions, a whole bunch of birds. In fact, I didn't even know that Peru had their own booby. So cool. After Paracas, we made our way to Huacachina, which is the only desert oasis in South America. And it's definitely a party area. I'm not gonna lie with that. If I was about 10 years younger, I would have stayed more than one day, for sure. But it was a lot of fun. We spent $15 on a discounted tour to do the dune buggy and sandboarding, which was totally worth it. It is the main attraction here in Huacachina, and it's definitely something that you have to do while you're in Huacachina. I mean, there's nothing else to do. And for $15, it was a lot of fun. After Huacachina, we made our way to Nazca. So Nazca is known for its Nazca lines, and most people don't really spend the night there. We were so lucky and fortunate because we were on Peru Hop for their sixth anniversary. So one of the stops before we got to Nazca was a Pisco Vineyard wine tasting, which was a lot of fun. Um, I learned that the wine is um, definitely different, but it tasted really good. But while we were there, they also included a lot of fun. One of them was we had to do a dance off in order to win a free Nazca line tour. And naturally I had Sherea do it. <laughs> and she was the best sport cause she got up there and danced her little heart away. And she kind of won us a free Nazca line tour, which meant that we originally planned on taking the bus overnight to Arequipa so we could spend two days in Arequipa. 
but that changed our plans. So instead of going to Arequipa, we actually spent the night in Nazca, which then resulted in the next morning heading to the airport and doing the Nazca lines. This was amazing. <laughs> We got into a small little plane, <laughs> smallest one I have ever been on, and we were able to fly over each and every line, which from the sky was so cool. And at the end, we received a certificate, and back here, it shows you each and every single line that we saw. So definitely super cool, and it's just, a little added souvenir. <laughs> so after Nazca, we eventually made our way to Arequipa. Arequipa, I think, is a very underrated city in Peru, and I feel like more people need to know about it. The city is surrounded by volcanoes, and it's known as the White City because most of the buildings are white, and we had a great time. We started our time off at Mundo Alpaca, which was super cool. I mean, we got to see alpacas for free. <laughs> and then um, we made our way down to the Plaza de Armas, which by far I think is one of the most beautiful Plaza de Armas's within Peru that I have seen. We went to go see Mama Juanita, which is a Peruvian or an Inca girl that is was sacrificed the Incan gods and she is perfectly preserved and it was absolutely amazing. We spent I think 20 soles to get in but it was totally worth it. After Arequipa we got on a Peru hot bus at I think six o'clock in the morning to make our final headway to Cusco. And this is kind of what we've been waiting for, right? Like our whole trip, our whole trip kind of revolved around making it up to Cusco so that we could do the Salkantai trek and eventually go see Machu Picchu. But we were super glad that we decided to do Peru Hop. It was definitely a really cool added bonus to our trip. But the only downfall to Peru Hop, and this is the only negative thing that I am going to say about it, is that I really wish the bus journey from Arequipa to Cusco was an overnight bus because during the day we spent 12 hours on the bus with only two stops. One of the stops was like a really quick stop to have a lookout over Lake Puno, which was cool, but we literally only stopped, I think, for maybe 15 minutes. And it was more of a gimmick for us to buy souvenirs than anything. And it just was like enough for you to stretch your feet or your legs, but it just, I just felt like it wasn't 100% worth it. And then our next stop after a few hours was lunch. It just, it was a very long journey and I think it would have been more sufficient to do an overnight bus than to have the journey during the day. But I mean, that's the only negative that I have about it, which I guess if you think about it, it's worth it, right? <laughs> okay, so now that we made it to Cusco, our last and final stop, we kind of settled into our hostel that we decided to book, and then we decided to make our way to the Cusco Peru Hop headquarters, their office there, and we picked up our free t-shirt, which super cool, and then on the back, it pretty much outlines the whole trip that we did. There is Puno on there, which we didn't do, but it still has kind of like our whole trip. So it was kind of like the perfect free souvenir to receive, you know, after our trip. So all in all, do I think Peru Hop is worth it? 100%. When I sit and think about how much we would have spent to get from city to city to city, how much we would have spent out of our own pocket without discounted hotels, how much we would have paid out of pocket without discounted tours, we would have spent so much more than $179. And then on top of it, all the free stops along the way, I mean, it was totally worth the price to us. We felt like we were able to see a lot of different areas within Peru that we would have never thought of stopping to to begin with. So I feel like it really just enhanced our trip. But I don't know. I think it's something that I would definitely recommend to anybody who's going to Peru, anybody who wants to travel on a budget. It's just the perfect 
It's the perfect way to see Peru. I think if you're a solo female traveler, Peru Hop is right for you. I feel like if you are somebody who's traveling with a friend or friends, Peru Hop is for you. If you are a family traveling through Peru, Peru Hop is for you. And if you're also like an older traveler, I also think Peru Hop is for you. I think Peru Hop in general, um, really works for every single age group, every single type of traveler, because you're able to kind of pick and choose what you want to do and how you basically plan your trip. So it's not a group tour. It's kind of something that just helps you get from point A to point B. And I think a lot more countries need to offer something like that to people. So 100% I would recommend Peru Hop for sure. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope that this has helped you plan your next Peruvian adventure. And I also hope that this helped you decide whether or not Peru Hop is right for you. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a like and make sure you hit subscribe because you're not gonna wanna miss my next adventure. Bye guys. Bye.